The text tool allows you to insert text into the design area. Click on text. A text box will appear containing the words sample text. To change the default text to your desired text, then find the selection located in the object list, highlight the existing text, then type in the new text. Click OK. The new text appears in your design area. You can move it by clicking and dragging. You can resize it by dragging from a corner. You can rotate it by clicking on the rotate handle. You can also use the object transformation keys to perform the same functions. Select the text, then click on the appropriate key. Move. Enlarge. Reduce. And rotate. You can change the color of the text by clicking on the color box in the object list. There are three options for choosing a new color. The first is to select a color from the Color Sure palette. The second is to create a color using the RGB color matrix. And the third is to type in an RGB code. We will use the Color Sure palette. Click on the color and you can see that the change has been made. Additional text manipulations are available using the object tool. These include text outline, text envelope, and text font. We will start with the text font. To change the text font, click on it and this will give you access to the available fonts. You can see that there are multiple categories and each category contains different styles. Click on a font to select it. To add a text outline, click on object, then text outline. Set the size for the thickness of the outline. Set the color Behind Fill allows you to tuck the outline partially behind the text. Check it to select it. Then click OK. You can see that the outline has been applied to the text. To add a text envelope, click on Object, then Text Envelope. There are four envelopes to choose from. With the arch, the text will follow a curved baseline, but will remain in a vertical position. With an arc, the text will follow a curved baseline and will be angled in relationship to the baseline. With a bridge bottom, the bottom of the text will follow a curved baseline, but the top of the text will be straight across. In addition, the letters will remain in a vertical position. With a double bridge, the bottom of the text will follow a curved baseline, and the top of the text will follow an inverted curved baseline. With each of the envelopes, you have a slider to control the amount of arc that is applied to the baselines. The center point is neutral, meaning no arc is applied. Going to the right or left, We'll apply different types of arc in different amounts. Let's start with the arch. Now we will use the arc. Now we will use the bridge bottom. Finally, we will use the double bridge. To delete text, click on Object 